In this video, we are going to learn about the internal structure of monocot root. Look at this diagram. It's a section enlarged of a monocot root. A monocot root structure has three different types of tissue. The first one, epidermis. Second one, ground tissue. Third one, vascular tissue. Three types, I shall repeat, epidermis, ground tissue, vascular tissue. First, we shall see about epidermis. Now, come to the diagram. The outermost layer is the epidermis. You find some hair like structure as which is marked here the diagram as root hair. So, now look at the shape of the cells. It is very thin. Cells which are thin are parenchyma. So, how to explain this layer? It is made up of parenchymatis. Made up of parenchymatis. Epidermis is made up of parenchymatis cells. Now, this layer is otherwise called rhizodermal layer, epiblemma, filiparous, otherwise epidermis. So, there are different names. Now, from the layer, from the parenchymatis layer, root has arises. Root has arises. So, unicellular has or unicellular root has are present. What is its function? It helps in absorption of water and minerals. So, the first layer is over. It is the epidermis made up of parenchymatis. Cuticle stomata is absent. Unicellular root has are present. It helps in absorption of water and minerals. It is otherwise called rhizodermal layer, epiblemma, filiparous, and epidermis. Next, we shall see about the second tissue that is ground tissue. Ground tissue has four different types of layers. First one cortex, second one endodermis, third one pericycle, fourth one pith. Is it clear? First we will see about the cortex. The cortex is made up of parenchyma cells with intercellular space and it stores food and water. Parenchyma cells stores food and water. So even the diagram you can see a vast area which is occupied by the cortical region only. So cortical region is made up of parenchyma cells and it stores food and water. Is it clear? The next ground tissue layer is the endodermis. It is a single layer and it is the innermost layer of the cortex. Look at the shape of the cells. They are barrel shapes and they are very closely packed. So you can describe it is the innermost layer of cortex, barrel shaped cells and closely packed. Now look at the third point. The walls of those cells, walls of those barrel shaped cells, they have a thickening made up of suberin. So such cells with the suberin band thickening are called Casparian striped cells. Casparian striped cells. And some of the endodermal cells don't have the Casparian stripes. Such cells are called passage cells. The cells without the thickening are called passage cells. Now this passage cells helps in the movement of water and dissolved salts from cortex to xylem. The next ground tissue is the pericycle. It is next to endodermal cells. So this is also a single layer. It is next to the endodermal layer. Now this layer helps in the origin of lateral roots. So the function of this layer is origin of lateral roots that is lateral roots arises from pericycle the next ground tissue is the pith 
Now look at the diagram. Where does it locate in the diagram? It is the center. In the last class, we learned about the dicot root. There I told one point about this. I hope you remember that. In mature root, pith is absent. In dicot root. In young root, pith is present. Now look at the monocot root here. You have a pith at the center. So what's the difference between a dicot root and monocot root? In dicot root, pith is absent, whereas in monocot root, pith is present. Where does it locate? Centrally located. What type of cells is there? It's made up of parenchyma cells. What is the function? It contains starch, grain and store. So, it stores food. Is it clear girls? Okay. As we studied earlier, root anatomy has three types of tissue. First one, epidermal, epidermis. Second one, ground tissue. Third one, vascular tissue. Now we have now we have come to the last type vascular bundle vascular tissue vascular tissue has two types of complex uh, tissues they are xylem and phloem you might have learned in your smaller classes xylem conducts water and phloem conducts food now the region where you find these two types of tissue is the vascular bundle region vascular bundle region now looking at the shape of the xylem and phloem shape location of the xylem and phloem we there are two terms for it x arc and poly arc x arc and poly arc what do we mean by x arc the proto xylem lies towards the periphery what is proto xylem so look at the xylem there are two types of cells one of the cells you find very small the other very big the very small the smallest cell of the xylem we call it as proto xylem so if in a vascular bundle proto xylem lying towards the periphery we call such vascular bundle x arc what is x arc vascular bundle when proto xylem lies towards the periphery of the root we call it as x arc now look at the next term poly arc see we learned in dicot root the xylem uh, tissue occurs as four arc now look at this diagram you find the xylem vessels occurs as different arc more than four so that is not tetra arc poly arc what do you mean what do you say poly arc so vascular bundle in a monocot root is x arc and poly arc it is made up of parenchymatous conjunctive tissue now this layer between the xylem and phloem you find a tissue called parenchymatous tissue also it joins become strengthened the bundle region so we call it as conjunctive tissue now I am going to give you an assignment I hope you do it properly it's an interesting one also so there are two diagrams here the first diagram I hope you can ident identify what it is. I told you in the last class, if you find root hair and the xylem has four arc, it is what type of root? Dicot root. Look at the second picture. You find the root hairs and in the vascular bundle region, you find xylem as different arc, poly arc. So the second picture is monocot root so you are very clear in identifying the figures now your work is to draw the diagram 
and label its parts is it clear i hope you will do it you can draw the diagram label the parts get it signed from your parent and make it recorded in your science notebook right girls okay